Good afternoon. My name is Zach Terwilliger and I'm the U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Virginia. Just came from a very important proceeding in court. 74 individuals from 34 countries just became U.S. citizens, swearing an oath of allegiance to our Constitution. People who came to this country lawfully waited extremely patiently for their turn and now join a melting pot of our country. Their actions in that naturalization ceremony is proof positive that we are both a nation of immigrants and a nation of laws. Regarding Chelsea Manning, as was stated in open court, Chelsea Manning has been lawfully subpoenaed to testify in an investigation. She's also been given immunity to protect herself from self-incrimination, meaning she can speak freely. The only thing that is being asked of her is to come answer questions truthfully. As someone who received the incredible gift of a commutation, was literally given 28 years of her life back, she now refuses to simply answer questions as part of our constitutional criminal justice process. It's interesting that she has such an abhorrence for grand juries, given that that mechanism is set forth in the Fifth Amendment and stands as a bulwark against unchecked prosecutorial power. And its secrecy protects the innocent by not subjecting them to public scrutiny when no indictment is returned. That's especially interesting given that she swore an oath to defend and support that same Constitution as a soldier. I'd also like to state, as her lawyers have repeated at nauseum, we have bent over backwards to accommodate Ms. Manning's medical needs, postponed her return to court today so she could have additional time for an appointment, and never once made this about anything other than obtaining immunized testimony in furtherance of an investigation. No one wants Ms. Manning out of contempt proceedings more than me. All we want is for her to truthfully answer questions as our constitutional republic requires of our citizens. Finally, as this is police week, I just want to say thank you to all the surviving families of the brave women and men in law enforcement who have given their last full measure of devotion this year, laid down their lives for the rest of us, so we can live in a world where we can meet in the public square and discuss these things. As Attorney General Sessions said, and as reaffirmed just two days ago by Attorney General Barr, to our local law enforcement, state, federal agents, we have your back and you have our thanks. I'm happy to take a few questions. One of her arguments is that because you have an indictment against WikiLeaks charges, an indictment against uh, Assange, that her testimony isn't needed. Why is that not a meritorious argument? Not at liberty to discuss, you know, any investigation or matters before the grand jury. What I can tell you is we have a lawfully predicated uh, reason for seeking her testimony, and we'll continue to do so. Have measures been taken to ensure that she'll receive adequate medical care in her uh, detention, given that in her previous detention she did not receive antibacterial soap and was subject to uh, health uh, issues from that? I direct your attention to, on that to the U.S. Marshal Service, who's responsible for that, but I can tell you, after being personally met with those individuals, that her medical care is an absolute concern of ours. It's part of the reason why we wanted to give her an opportunity to meet with her doctor. And as the judge heard in open court, um, her doctor or nurse practitioner, as the case may be, has been cleared, and uh, we want her to have access to all the adequate medical care that she needs. One more. Um, so after 18 months, she serves the sentence and still refuses to testify. What would be the next step? I'd rather not get into hypotheticals at this point. My hope is that she will uh, agree to do her duty as a citizen and come in and tell the truth. Thank you all for is your there time. time to for her release.